Hey, I'm Nick Boy, and this is Pocket News for Wednesday, the 6th of May. First up, Black Mesa, the community rebuild of the original Half-Life, has hit Steam's early access. The game was released online in 2012 when the remaster was about 80% complete. Bajo and Hex reviewed it on Good Game and praised it, awarding it double tens. I got all these different colors. Mine too. It's awesome. Wow. That's a bit. Now, three years later, the developers have stated it's around 85% complete. It is worth playing just for that glorious HD remastering, but at this rate, don't expect a finished game before the next Winter Olympics. And EA had an earnings call, which is basically just when all the investors get on Skype and laugh about how much money they're making. But in between bouts of making it rain, EA did announce some release dates for their big franchises. An unannounced Need for Speed game will drop this year along with the annual FIFA, and a new Plants vs Zombies game will come out sometime next year. And Timefall 2 is getting a late 2016, early 2017 release. But most excitingly, Mirror's Edge 2 is slated to come out last quarter of next year. He is hoping the series is like Assassin's Creed, an okay proof of concept for a first game, then a terrific sequel that fleshes out all those great ideas. Then 36 more games to really just milk out every last drop of enthusiasm I have for that series before I become a withered out milk husk. Alright, that's it for the news today, Pocketeers. Now, what games do you want to see sequels to? Put them down in the comments. Personally, I need more Dishonored and Mark of the Ninja in my life. Alright, until later on, Nick Boy out.